Hi everybody, welcome back. Today I am making a gorgeous cookie cake that I've adorned with beautiful fresh roses. This dessert is elegant and classy, but also so easy to make. All right, let's get started. I'm starting by weighing out each cookie. The larger cookies on the bottom weigh 11 ounces each. So I'm rolling each cookie into an 11 ounce ball of dough. Then I'm spraying the bottom of a six inch cake pan and then I begin forming the cookie dough ball into a disc shape by pressing it onto the bottom of the pan. You will need seven cookies for the bottom tier. The cookie dough recipe I used is the New York Times recipe, which I will put a link to in the description box. This recipe is a little bit more time consuming, but I think the extra work is definitely worth it. I ended up needing two batches of this recipe for this project. Here I'm making the smaller cookies, which I have done the same as the larger cookies, except these weigh only five ounces each. You will also need seven of this size. Once these are baked, they increase in size by about two inches. All right, my cookies are baked, and once they have cooled, it's time to get it assembled. First, I'm adding a dab of buttercream frosting to my cake stand, and then I add my first cookie. Next, I add a thin layer of buttercream frosting. You don't want to go overboard here with the frosting because there are so many layers of it. The best recipe for this cookie cake is my Swiss meringue buttercream frosting, which is my favorite less sweet frosting. And then I added six more cookie layers for a total of seven cookies and six layers of buttercream. And I repeat the same process for my top tier of cookies. I thought about adding some dowels at this point for supports, but I changed my mind and just went without this time. It held up just fine for the day, except for a couple cracks in the front. All right, now that I have my cookies into place, I'm going to decorate it with some gorgeous fall colored roses. To prepare my roses, I first cut the stem off, and then I pull off any petals that look wilted or imperfect. And then I cut some floral tape and I stretch it out a little and I begin wrapping it around the stem. When I get it to the bottom of the stem, I wrap it around a few times to make sure I get it covered completely. I don't want any of the liquid from the stem to drip onto my cake. Once I have my roses covered, I add some buttercream to the section where I plan to put my roses. Before I add my flowers to the cake, I decided to cover the stems with a bubble tea straw that I cut to the size of the stem. This will give it one more layer of protection from any liquids from the stem. And lastly, I decorate my cake with my beautiful roses. I carefully stick them into the buttercream, trying not to damage the beautiful petals. And here I'm adding a little bit of greenery too. I also added a couple more roses to the side of the cake. And I'm finishing it off by placing a few more roses right on the cake stand. And there we have it, a beautiful cake shaped cookie that was simple to make yet also elegant. One more thing, I wanted to show you how I cut it. I pulled off the roses and those big blobs of frosting first. Next, I used my knife to pull off the entire top tier and I cut it like a cake, but I made really thin cuts. I actually think this was a really large serving and if I were serving others, I would probably go even smaller because this is a very rich dessert. Thank you all for watching and I hope you learned how to make your own cake shaped cookie. If you have any ideas or suggestions for me, please let me know down in the comment section below. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.